This is a sample SP API application. It has an application ID, IAM ARN provided during the app registration, login with Amazon credentials including the client ID and the client secret. To know more details on LWA, please refer to the handout provided. Now that you have the app ready, click on authorize button. This is to generate a refresh token and exchange it for the access token that you should use to authenticate yourself for SP API. So I click on authorize app to get the refresh token. If you have multiple vendor groups, they will be displayed here and you can use the same app to authorize those. Now let's make the first call using Postman. I have imported the required SP API models from GitHub. Today, you will see the demo to create and download vendor reports using SP API. The first step is to generate an access token by making a POST call to the authorization server. Provide the details required like the refresh token, client ID and the client secret from your registered application and hit send. So this is the access token and it starts with ATZDay which is valid for one hour. Header, you need to mention the access token that you have generated earlier. In the body, provide the filters for the required report and hit on send. So you get a report ID. Run the get report endpoint, inputting the report ID you just generated. The authorization and the header tab remains the same as earlier. Now hit on send. So here you get a report document ID. The final step is to run the get report document ID endpoint inputting the document ID you just got and hit on send. You will get a link uh, to download the report that you have generated. So these are the steps required to run a reports API using Postman. You can also automate this entire flow by generating a Java or c -sharp SDK we offer. For more details, check out the blog on automate your SP API calls using Java SDK in our blog session and also in the handout provided.